Welcome. This video will guide you through the correct steps to collect a saliva sample for cortisol measurement using a salivette. You are doing this test because Dr. Bao wants to ensure you do not have conditions that cause oversecretion of cortisol, such as Cushing's disease or Cushing's syndrome. It's also important if you have a history of these conditions, difficulty managing your weight or controlling your diabetes. The Midnight Saliva Cortisol Test is specifically designed to measure cortisol levels at midnight when they are typically at their lowest. This helps in diagnosing conditions like Cushing's disease or syndrome and assessing how well the adrenal and pituitary glands are functioning. Our clinic is ideally located at the junction of freeways 630 and 430, making it easily accessible from multiple directions. We are committed to being a central, convenient location for our diverse patient base, including many who rely on public transportation. Do not collect a saliva sample if you have recently used oral steroids, steroid inhalers, or received steroid shots within the last month. Also, avoid collection if you have mouth ulcers or severe gum disease that causes easy bleeding. Before you begin collecting your saliva sample, please wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Ensure you have not used any creams or lotions containing steroids for 24 hours before the test, as these can contaminate the sample. Avoid eating major meals for at least four hours before collecting your sample and no snacking for one hour before the test. Ideally, do not eat anything within four hours, though it's okay to drink water. However, do not drink water within 30 minutes before collecting your sample. Avoid consuming alcohol for at least four hours before the sample collection. You may rinse your mouth after eating or brush or floss your teeth immediately after eating, but ensure this is done at least four hours before collecting your saliva to prevent bleeding that could contaminate the sample. We use a salivette to collect your saliva. It comes in a small plastic bag, which includes basic saliva collection instructions and a tube with a blue cap. You should also have a sample bag containing a label and the instruction sheet. Inside the tube, you'll find the salivette containing a cylindrical cotton pad. Do not touch the cylindrical cotton with your hands. Place the cotton pad in your mouth and roll it in your mouth, or place it under your tongue for at least two minutes until it's well saturated with saliva. To help increase saliva production, you can think about lemon or look at a lemon during this process. Once the cotton pad is saturated, return it to the salivette and close it securely. Label the tube with your name, date of birth, the time of collection, specifying AM or PM, and the date. If you're instructed to collect multiple samples, you can put them all together in the sample bag. Please clearly label each one as first sample, second sample, and so forth. Store the sample in the refrigerator and return the sample to our lab the next day. If you're unable to do that, please do not collect the sample. Wait until the night before you're able to transport the sample. First, avoid touching the cotton pad with your hands. Second, do not return the cotton to the wrong container it should go back into the smaller cuvette. Third, remember that collection must be done at midnight unless you work night shifts or have a different diurnal cycle, in which case you should not perform this test. If you have any further questions about collecting your saliva sample, please feel free to contact my nurse, Kim, or Joe at our clinic. Thank you for following these steps to ensure a successful saliva collection for cortisol testing. Our clinic's strategic location and close ties with the community not only facilitate easy access to medical services, but also enhance our operational efficiency and patient care. We value your trust and are dedicated to providing top-notch healthcare.